Hello and welcome to IWA 2024. We're here at the Pulsar booth with Ludas from Pulsar and uh, he will illustrate to us the new products in the Talos line of monoculars, modular monoculars, which are the flagship for the brand. Yeah, so, um, so we have three new models, so two of which we introduced at the SHOT Show uh, just uh, in January earlier this year. So this one would be the smallest one with the XQ35, uh, so 384 sensor uh, with the smallest 35 millimeter lens. It comes both with LRF and without, as all of our uh, teleses do. Uh, then another one that we also just recently introduced is the XG, so it's the 640 uh, 12 micron version uh, that has you know uh, higher resolution but also higher uh, base magnification than the XP version was. That's because of the smaller the pitch, it's yeah. smaller yeah exactly smaller uh, pixel exactly. pitch. And then our newest thing which we're now introducing, which is going to be available later this year around June maybe, is the XL. So if you remember Merger Excel, Thermion yes. Excel, that's it our... It will be HD. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so that is that kind of closes up our uh, HD product line. We have the rifle scope, we have the monoculars. Now we're going to have the, uh, the monocular as well. So this is going to be our top product now. Flagship Pro model. Exactly. We still have the XP version, which is the 640 17 micron, very sensitive and very clear, but for that extra punch, we're adding the HD. And even if now, you know, you're you're about to buy an XP, and now it's like the XL has come out, come out later this year, what you can do is you can still buy the XP now because you can upgrade it. Yes, of course, that's one of the selling points of the TELUS line, the modularity. You can actually get them with or without the laser rangefinder. You can change even the uh, objective, I, I yeah. think, and the sensor inside, which is uh, unprecedented. So you we, can upgrade it. So if you can, if you start from X, uh, sorry, TELUS XQ35 without LRF, you can add laser rangefinder. You can add the sensor. You can that would automatically mean you would need to change the lens as well, and then you can go from XQ to XG, XP, or XL. When that's going to be available, we're also planning to finally launch that platform up about mid this year. So you can order it and then kind of ship it to us. We change it, and you pay only for the new parts, not for the whole device. That's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Also, what we just recently released, I think last week, if I'm not mistaken, is a firmware upgrade for Telesis. So if you have an XP now, uh, check out the newest firmware. We added the haptic response, so you can switch it off if you don't like it, but you can press a button and the device gives you feedback, so it vibrates a little bit. So at dark, if you're not sure if you pressed it, once you have that on, it gives you like physical, tangible feedback that, yep, that was pressed. Okay. Uh, another thing, and again, this is a testament to how we listen to our customers. We had some uh, complaints that the LED light is too bright mm -hmm. once it's on. So we added a function in the menu to switch it off. To switch it off. If that is irritating you, just switch it off and you're good to go. Well, thank you so much. This is a, a very impressive product. I think it's the basically the only one right now that allows such a uh, uh, upgradable path. And uh, basically, we're going to test the new models uh, shortly. Please con continue following allforhunters.com. And again, any comments, questions, post them below. Thank you, Ludas. Thank you.